Hello. 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 Hi. All righty, Friday. Ah, praise the Lord. Good morning. It's hard to get up when the clouds are like that, isn't it? Okay. It stays darker now, longer now, too, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is the time of year I like because I, I get up early and I you know, watch the sunrise from our house. It's cool. All right, well, welcome to our Saturday morning prayer. If you're watching us uh, later on in the day, welcome. Um, there's about 100 to 150 people who are with you either now or, or uh, later on today praying with us. Um, and so if you, this is the first time you're here with us, we're so, good, so glad to have you with us. And those of you who have been here with us on Saturday morning and, and uh, prayed before, uh, you know what we're going to do here, but I'm going to quickly explain it for those who are watching for the first time. This is a prayer meeting, <laughs> and so that's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to have uh, five, six prayer um, categories. I will introduce them, and then I'll bring us to pray, and then uh, after just a few minutes, I'll cut it off. I'll, I'll go to the next one. Now, the first prayer category category today we're going to spend the most time on because um, that's the main reason why we have this Saturday morning prayer meeting and that's so we can pray for the, the service tonight and the two tomorrow morning and also pray for the church here in San Diego. I've got Dan Yeslinger with me, our counseling pastor. Uh, we have one of the senior staff here with us every Saturday morning and uh, we're going to pray for Danny his wife Nitsa, their kids, and the ministry that he has here at the church. And he'll, he'll tell you about all that in just a few minutes. So, am I forgetting anything? I think so. Okay. Um, so we're gonna get right into it here. Our, our first uh, prayer topic this morning, like I said, is gonna be the services tonight and tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna be preaching this weekend on the subject of prayer. And uh, after the message, we're going to ask people to commit to what we call the prayer society. Um, we've changed it a little bit to try to get more people involved in it. They can, they can sign up for three categories, as you'll see when you, you come to church. The, four, the first is just to pray 10 minutes a day. The second is to pray 20 minutes, five days a week. And the third is to pray for 30 minutes a day five days a week, and we're just hoping to get more people here in the church um, praying. Uh, I came up with that idea, and, and you know, it's just, I think it's actually, I wish I would have, it's so obvious, I wish I would have thought of it years ago. Anyway, so that's what we're gonna do, and then for the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be uh, taking people's pledges. Um, anyway, so please pray for that. The more people we get praying here at the church, um, well, the more of God's influence and power we're gonna, we're, we will experience here. Um, pray for the band, the media, the children's uh, ministry, the uh, uh, preschool. You know, I don't have it on here, John, but you're taking 40 kids today on Monday. On Monday. Okay. I want to pray for that today, so I, I forgot to write that down. Anyway, back to uh, praying for tonight and tomorrow. Uh, you want to pray for the altar call, uh, everything that's going to happen around here, the offering. Uh, am I forgetting anything? The nursery, ushers, the drivers, the buses are going to go out. You're just smiling at me. Can I? Can you, oh, Mission 910. Just everything that happens. The second thing is, um, this weekend, uh, we're, we're lifting up uh, Faith Chapel. I actually committed my life to Christ at Faith Chapel many years ago. They have a new pastor. His name is jo uh, Joshua Elias. Josiah. Josiah Elias, yeah. Elias. Say that again? You're right. You're right, okay. About the last name. Yeah, anyway, um, he comes to our pastor's group. He's a great guy. And um, 
That church has gone through a lot of upheaval in the last 30, 40 years. It really has. So let's just lift them up. They, ha they have a new pastor. There's some excitement there. Um, I know that Neil, myself, um, we're really impressed with this guy. Uh, like him a lot. And uh, he's really, he's, he's going for it. So we want to lift him up. And also, most of us know, and I, I mention this every week, most of us know a friend, a family member who goes to another church. And so you know something about that church, you know a little bit about it, you know who the pastor is. Pray for them too, and just pray for the church in San Diego. So I'm not going to waste any more time introducing this because it's, it's pretty easy, straightforward. So we're going to take a few minutes here, and we're going to pray for Foothills tonight, tomorrow. Pray for me as I, I pray, and especially pray for the end of the message where uh, we're going to challenge people to sign up for the prayer society. Uh, okay. So, let's pray.
Okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to um, add something in here that isn't on, I don't know, they won't have a slide for this, but I want us to pray about the 40 high schoolers that are going down to Mexico. For a lot of them, it's, it's going to be uh, eye-opening. Um, it's just good for Christian kids here in America to see how other kids live in the world and uh, for obvious reasons. So let's just pray over that. You know, we had uh, John filled up faster than he's ever, ever filled up this before. And uh, there's a lot of kids who wanted to go who, who couldn't, but we just can't take more than 40 because and it's not that we don't have the transportation. It's once we get down there. So um, because, you know, obviously we have to be careful and we want to get to that. So can we just pray about that real quick? Um, we want to pray for safety. I want to pray for the Holy Spirit to even now begin to uh, move in these kids. I don't want to spend any more time. Let's just pray a minute or two for uh, this coming Monday as these kids, high school kids, take off for Mexico. All right? Okay, you want to wrap up? We're going to go to the um, to next topic, and that is that um, next weekend we have Good Friday, a service here, and then we have Saturday night and Sunday. We have four services. Um, Saturday night is it's the same as 6.30, but on Sunday it's 8, 9, 11, 8, 9, 30, and 11. Sounds right. 8, 9, 30, and 11, correct? They're gone. Yes. Thank you. Um, so, so many things are, are uh, uh, the service is going to be done a little bit different. It's, um, the service is designed for two things. One, um, for all the visitors that we're going to have. And the thing about Easter and Christmas is, um, we're going to have a lot of what I call gospel-hardened people. Sons, daughters, relatives who are coming to church and they've already put on their armor. They don't, they know, we're going to, they're going to, you know. Um, and they're only coming because they love their parents, they love their brother or sister, and sure, I'll go. And so you got a lot of people like that who are ready for the altar call to end, who, who are already preparing themselves. You know, they're just... Make sure you pray for them, that uh, the Holy Spirit will just break down the wall, because obviously they need Jesus. Uh, and that we would reap a harvest. Uh, 
All those people that are invited, family members, their family members have been praying for them for a long time. So, uh, so that's just remember to pray for that. There's a lot of things happening uh, Sunday morning, Saturday night. The, the, the times are a little bit different. We're going to have a ton of visitors. Uh, pray for the worship. Pray for the multimedia because there's things going on here. Um, especially on Good Friday, we're going to have people on, on, on different parts of the stage. So let's go ahead and pray for Good Friday and Easter, well, Easter Eve and Easter morning. Let's pray.
Okay. Um, we have a, a fundraiser coming up. Uh, our Spring Youth Benefit. It's uh, being held in, I think, uh, Liberty Station, Point Loma. And uh, we need to raise a lot of money, probably about, well, I don't know how much, but 150,000, something like that, right? I mean, we, we need, well, we need is, what we use this money for is to help young people go to camps. Our camps and Future Quest are the two things that um, young people c come back and we talk to them, they're old, they're, they're uh, married. Those are the two things that they talk about, how God touched them at one of our camps or at Future Quest. I can tell you that uh, my oldest son, uh, the summer camp before his senior year just changed his life. Um, it was like, was living with a different person. He was on fire for Jesus. He was working all around here. He was volunteering. Um, it was like something clicked. And um, I've often wondered how long it would, it would have taken that to happen in his life if he wouldn't have gone to that camp. Um, so we want to get as many young people to these camps as possible, getting them away. And you know, you've, you, you, Dan, you've taken. Uh, many kids up to camp. You, you, you get them away from their parents and some positive peer pressure, and they start worshiping Jesus. I wish I could show you all right now. Um, several people uh, sent me videos of uh, the kids worshiping uh, last camp. It's, uh, it's pretty phenomenal. So you know, sense the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit speaks to them about all kinds of things in their life. Uh, so again, we have a, uh, uh, you, um, well, a fundraiser, a youth fundraiser in Liberty Station. And, and the whole purpose of the dinner is to make money. <laughs> so we're selling tickets at $150 a piece. The businessmen are buying the tables and then inviting their friends. Uh, we want to get about 150, 180 people there. Something like that, whatever. Okay. So, um, and uh, so let's pray for that. Secondly, uh, before we move on, I want to remind you that we would love to pray for your prayer requests, the things that are on your heart. And of course, for us to do that, you have to send those prayer requests to us. And you can do it right now, very quickly. Just email to prayer at foothillschurch.org. It should be on your screen, prayer at foothillschurch.org. Pastor John, who you over there, he'll pick it up. Pastor Danny and I will pray for those at the end, all right? So just send those in to us. You can always, you can also, if you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, you can just write in the comments a quick, uh, and keep it short, um, and we'll pray for you. Your, your brothers and sisters here this morning, and also, um, those who are watching at home will agree with you on these prayers. But of course, again, we can't pray with you if you don't send those prayer requests in and do that now. So let's go ahead and pray for the spring youth benefit, all right?
Okay. I'm going to try to squeeze in one more prayer topic here. And um, I want to pray for the, f the sick we have. We just have a lot of really sick people. Um, there's, a, there's a section of this church uh, who haven't moved away, haven't sold their house and moved away, who are retired and are, you know, they're having to deal with some stuff. And rather than, um, I don't want to name names only because I'll forget somebody. So, but all you know people in our church or maybe friends and family who are dealing with cancer, uh, heart problems, uh, people are in, on, on hospice right now. Uh, let's just take a few minutes and pray for them, their families. Um, it's tough uh, watching someone you love slowly fade away. Uh, I mean, that's just a tough thing. So uh, let's just pray for those who are sick in the church and especially for those who are sick who are really dealing with some. You know, I prayed over a woman this last week who just found out she, <clears throat> she had a sore back, went in and did um, tests and spot, found a spot in her spine, her lung and her liver. And... Uh, Maybe you know, you guys may know who I'm talking about, but anyway, let's just pray for those that we know that are dealing with stuff and ask God to heal them. That we would see miraculous things take place. That, I don't know if you know the story of Hezekiah, but uh, the prophet comes in and, and the Lord, to make the long story short, he tells uh, Hezekiah, the Lord, uh, he was dying. The prophet even told him he, he was dying. And then uh, Hezekiah prayed. God sent the prophet back and said, the Lord's added 15 years to your life. Pray something like that for some of these people who still have, you know, I think a lot of life to, to live. You know, I'll, I'll, we don't understand a lot of this. Um, but anyway, so let's just, you pray, we'll pray for the sick that we know. All right, let's pray. All right, um, I'm just gonna uh, ask you one more time to send us your prayer requests. Dan and I would love to pray with you. And those at home would love to pray with you. But again, we can't obviously, unless you pray, unless you give us those requests. 
Just email them to us at prayer at foothillschurch.org. It'll be on, on your screen there. And, um, or right in the comments of Facebook and YouTube. Do that right now. Um, so, as I told you earlier, and some of you know, every week we have a member of our senior staff. Danny, how long have you been a pastor here? Maybe 20 years close. 20 years, oh, yeah. Started off at Youth Venture, then you went to, you were our high, high school, school pastor. High school pastor, and now you are our, our um, counseling pastor. By the way, I hear nothing but good about you counseling. I mean, I heard, I've heard it from many people. Uh, it's where you belong. I mean, you, you're really good at it. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, praise the Lord I'm able to say that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Danny, why don't you explain to everybody uh, what your job is, what you do, and then uh, how we can pray for you. Yeah. So um, I work with a team of counselors, and we meet the need of all the counseling requests here at the church for marriage, a family, or individual counseling, for all different kinds of things, help people get unstuck from whatever is going on in their life. And, um, and so, uh, yeah, uh, we also do classes and retreats uh, for parenting and marriage. And When's our marriage retreat? Is, is, is that coming up? November. Oh, that's not, not coming up, but it's, it's there. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, What's the next class you're going to be teaching? Parenting the Difficult Child. That's coming up in June. The Difficult Child. The deal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that, so that's a kid or yeah, a teenager? Yeah, that's, that's any age, uh, you know, 17 and under. Um, that seems to be harder than most. Yeah, we, you need some added things on top of the reg, the normal parenting classes. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, uh, but I, I'd really, I always love prayer just that all of our sessions and classes would just have the anointing of God and we'd have God's spirit moving and giving wisdom and, and encounter, you know, just helping in the counseling. And, um, but I'd, I'd really like particularly today to ask for prayer in the area of marriage because um, kind of have a team that we're kind of building of people who are ministering in marriage in, in different ways and we're, we're starting a couple new things. Uh, it can be really hard to find good quality help when you're struggling in marriage. There's a lot of experiences people have that are bad, and we just want to become even more excellent at helping people, especially those that are just like, hey, if we don't find the help we need, it's, you know, we don't know how this is going to keep going. So we will, we're really working to get better at helping crisis marriages. Do you need to find more people to help? Is that what you just asked? Or no, do you have enough? Uh, we just need God's blessing upon a couple new things. We've got I've got some new couples that are on board, and but I'm always open to oh, yeah, uh, okay. people who might be interested in that area. All right, so um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pray for you and pray for your lovely wife Nita, who works around here as well. Uh, how long have you been married? Uh, for twenty, going on twenty three years. Good man. All right. Lord, first we want to just bless their marriage, Nietzsche and Dan's marriage. Thank you, Lord, for 23 years. Thank you for all their kids. I know that a couple of his kids are going down to Mexico. Uh, bless them. Bless Nietzsche and all the things that she does around here. And we especially, Lord, we ask your anointing to fall on Pastor Danny this morning. We all pray, Lord God, that you'd continue to give him vision for helping people who are stuck who are under uh, de uh, depression, oppression, people who just can't seem to get out of this, uh, what, you know, crazy cycle in, in their marriages. They just can't seem to uh, break through. We pray, Lord, you'd help them to save marriages to, for, for um, uh, you to anoint these uh, dear people who have said, we want to, uh, come alongside of you, Dan, and, and help marriages in the church. We pray, Lord God, that we in 2024, we wouldn't experience one divorce. There's a lot of, Lord, there's a lot of marriages in, in this church. People aren't going to get divorced, but they're not happy. They're miserable. We pray, Lord God, that, that some of those marriages would uh, admit that and come and, and call this brother and get some help. We rebuke the devil, Lord, if, if there's any ministry in this church that can see the enemy holding on, having people hold on to things. It's in this ministry here. We pray, John, anoint our brother right here to see spiritually into people's lives.
for those who work with him to see if there's some kind of demonic thing going on. Give them great power against the enemy. Lord, thank you for the 20 years that this brother has served this church. And because he served the church, his wife has as well. Uh, there's some sacrifices she's had to make. Uh, bless their marriage, bless this family, and bless our brother as he leads the counseling ministry in our church. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Okay, if you want to just continue to, to, to pray for Danny, I got some prayer requests. And uh, just never, I'm not used to a little piece of paper. Okay. John, I'm just giving you a hard time. I appreciate you taking it. Um, I, I, you know, I just made, I, I would ask that um, some of you would um, make a commitment with me to pray for that guy right over there. Um, he's got, you know, when, when, when you take responsibility for 40 kids uh, and you go into a foreign country, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Okay, you know, all kinds of things can happen. So just pray that nothing does. No one falls and breaks their leg. I mean, there's no medical stuff, nothing. And they'll, they'll come back here. Okay. Um, so the way we do this, if this is the first time, he and I are just going to go back and forth. We'll, we'll each pray for um, a couple on here. And then just ask that you pray along with us. So Lord, I, um, Gina asked a prayer for her father. Um, he has breathing issues. <coughs> and that's all the information we have, but that's all we need. Lord, we, we pray for Gina's dad. Pour out your spirit upon him. And Lord, we, we, we pray for Gina as, as well. You give her uh, peace as she ministers to her father. We pray for your healing power to fall upon Gina's dad. Um, and Mary is asking for healing with her hip, uh, and that she wouldn't need surgery. Lord, as she comes to church here or wherever she goes to, to, to a church, she comes forward and someone lays her hands on her this Sunday. We ask, Lord, Saturday or Sunday night, we ask that you would miraculously heal that, that hip, Mary's hip, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we lift up Paco is dealing with the cirrhosis of his liver. Lord, we pray, Father, for your healing touch upon him. And Lord, uh, that you'd be with him and Lord, the treatments. And Lord, we just pray healing and, and ask that his benefits would uh, cover all of the expenses. And we lift up Joseph, Lord, asking for direction in his job. And Lord, we pray that you would give him a sense, Lord, of your leading and that Lord, you lead him to uh, just that place that you have ordained for him to um, just to be your light and to receive your provision. Bless him in, in that area, Lord. We pray for Pedro. He asked for a healing and we don't know what that is, but Lord, we lift up Pedro and we ask for you to heal him in, Jesus, in your name, Lord Jesus. He's also praying for a job. We pray, Lord God, that uh, you would answer that prayer. That even by next Saturday, we'll have a prayer re praise report from Pedro, that he's found a job. We pray for Kayla. Um, it says here she's gender confused and lost. Nor never, many of us, never in our life would we, would we have thought that it would come to this, that doctors were mutilating young people. We pray, Lord God, that you would stop from that from happening to, to this young woman and Lord, that you would powerfully move upon her and reveal yourself to her. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, we lift up Patty. And Lord, first pray for her health. Lord, just that your touch of strength and help and healing would be upon her body and also for her children, that they would return to you. And Lord, uh, we just ask that you would water those seeds that have been planted in their past, that they would remember um, just who you are and your love, and that they would return to you. And we pray for David and his health issues and the swelling he's experiencing, God. Um, we pray your touch to his body, Lord, that the swelling would be reduced and you strengthen his, um, his body to function, Lord, the way you've, uh, that, that you originally ordained, God, healing over David. Pray for Cher. 
It says her, her whole family is dealing with griefs, and I would imagine a loss of a loved one. So we lift up share to you and ask you would pour out your spirit upon her and her whole family in this time of loss. We pray for Steve. Uh, he asks for uh, healing of his kidneys and uh, provision for his family. So we pray for a healing on Steve's kidney or kidneys, that they would begin to function normally right now in Jesus' name, fall upon him with power. And uh, if this disease or what's wrong with his kidneys is hindering him from uh, providing for his family, we ask that you would move on this brother, heal him, and make it, po make it possible for him to, to uh, provide for his family. And I'm just gonna, this is a, the last one here, Tiffany, she asked that her son would come to a place saving knowledge of, of you, Lord Jesus. We pray that your conviction and power would come upon uh, her son. Reveal yourself to him in <clears throat> the middle of the night. Have a, a, a Christian come into his, into his life, and as we've been talking, witness to him. Lord, we agree with Tiffany in the salvation of her son. Thank you, Jesus. And we pray for Caitlin, Lord, in the planned induction um, in her pregnancy. We pray, Lord, for a healthy baby, a healthy mom, that the delivery would go well and smooth. And um, thank you for that. And we pray for Earl um, as he and Jennifer need healing and relief from pain that they're experiencing. Lord, um, we pray for your um, just help and just your strong touch. Um, and that the pain would be relieved, Lord. Pray, we pray for all of these people who have asked for your uh, just healing of their bodies. We pray that you would be visiting them now and this week um, and strengthening them. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, we praise and thank you, Lord, for being with us today, for all that's going to happen. This... Um, this weekend for all those who are going to sign up and commit themselves to prayer, the discipline of prayer. Uh, believe that's going to be uh, a blessing for all, all those who do, and you're, and you're going to use their prayers to bring your kingdom. Thank you for hearing us this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, hopefully I'll see you either tonight or tomorrow. And uh, God bless you guys.